Hey YouTube, we're back with another video today. Me and Matthew out here in the garage. And today I'm working on the drain valve to my upright stand up air compressor. I don't even know what I did with the original valve. I had it somewhere, it might be in my truck still, I don't know. But anyways, it was so clogged up and nasty, it wouldn't even drain the water out like you're supposed to do periodically. And the only way to really drain it was to take the whole valve all the way out. And then that made a huge mess because my air compressor is plumbed in, so it's I can't just wheel it out in the driveway or out in the yard and do it and let all the rusty water fall out there. So it always made a huge mess in the garage. So today I finally decided to tackle this project, tear it out. Um, it should be an easy project, but so far it's turned out to be just a horrible nightmare because our Home Depot store absolutely sucks. And I hate saying that because I love Home Depot over Lowe's, but they didn't have anything of what we was needing. I was going to have to go with all these different adapters and reducers and everything else so we ended up just going to Lowe's getting everything we needed for this project so I am going with all brass on it this time got all of our brass fittings for it and um, I think I got a pretty good idea of how I want to do this so I'm gonna try my best to film it for you I don't know it's I mean, I'll show you where it's at here so here's the air compressor and like I said I'm not moving it because everything's plumbed in and uh, I can work down underneath underneath it so um, I do got to clean up some Floor dry down there that's soaked up all that rusty water from when I took the valve out. But um, yeah, anyways, we'll uh, try my best to set the camera up, show y'all what, what I'm doing, and um, we'll go from there. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you. I am using some pipe thread sealant instead of Teflon tape. So in my mind, this is what I'm thinking of, okay? We're gonna have this fitting, it's gonna go into my T right here. And if I can screw it in, there we go. So like that, this will go up into the tank. This pipe is gonna come out like this, and then we're gonna have this valve on it, and really, I don't need a ball valve, and I'll tell you why here in a second, because from the ball valve, it's gonna go an air compressor fitting. Makes sense, right, because it's going on an air compressor. I don't know if this is right or not, guys, so don't hate on me. This is what we're building, and this will go up into the bottom of the tank. Reason I'm doing all this, for one, the ball valve is this added security in case this piece leaks. I don't want to leak, so I have this plus this. And my original plan was to get one of those adapters that went from quarter inch pipe thread to a garden hose fitting. And I was just gonna hook garden hose to it, running out the garage when I need to drain, drain water out of the tank. But I couldn't find one of those, and I didn't want to have to wait to buy one online. So my plan is to go this way, because this fits all my current air fitting tool, air tools that I have. So what I'm gonna do is, I have an old 50 foot um, air hose. I'm trying to think of the brand, of, I don't know, it's Home Depot brand, uh, might be Ryobi, hell, I don't know. But anyways, it's it's got a bad fitting on the other end of it. So I'm gonna take that hose and cut the fitting off, and it's 50 foot long. That would be plenty to hook up and run it outside when I need to drain some water. So let's start putting this together. All right guys, so what I'm doing right now is just putting some of the pieces together that I can get together because like I said I can't stand my tank up which really sucks I could but I don't want to undo all my damn fittings going to my airline so we're just going to do it this way all right guys so what I'm going to do now is we're going to screw this piece in first into the air compressor. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these together also. That way I'll have a little bit to grip onto. So I should have plenty of room to spin this around down there with the ball valve on it. And then that'll just make it where I got one connection to put together once it's all on there. All right guys, so we got these pieces put together. Could go ahead and stick this one in too, I guess. All right, here we go. Got this all put together. Got the ball valve on it. I'm hoping it's out far enough because I think I put my valve on backwards. Maybe not. I don't know. The valve might not work at all. But um, this is all trial and error. So what I'm gonna do now is go under the air compressor, get this piece put in, and. Uh, We'll be back. All right, folks. Got my T put in. I'm putting our last piece in here. I did have to take the handle 
off of the ball valve because it's really close to the floor and it wouldn't allow me to turn it but I was also I had a slow air leak I don't know if it was because of the, this uh, original drain plug or if it's in my airline somewhere but I don't believe it's in my airline because I have all the push fittings We'll go about right there. So now I just hook a hose to it. Should be able to drain water out of it. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want to bore y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put the handle back on here. I'm gonna fill the tank up and we're gonna see if we have any leaks. Alright folks, everything's put in now. I don't hear any leaks. I kinda hear I think I hear who's that? Matthew and Emma come down here. My bad. Um I can hear air, but I don't really hear like it. But um, this is what we got now. Let's see if I can get down here and show it to y'all. Not very well, but you can see the T goes in down there and just comes out to this right here. We do have a ball valve, which I don't hear any air, air leaking. This is just kind of a secondary device, safety device, I guess, to keep it from leaking, but this should work. Now normally, oh, get up here off the floor. All right, normally, uh, you see my gauges right now, we're at, try to get it where you can see them. There you go. Um, everything's full, holds pressure. It'll hold pressure just like this for probably three or four days before it starts to leak. So now though, we got a way to drain the water out of it. So if you uh, have an air compressor and you have issues with draining water out of it, or when you do, it leaves water and rusty, nasty mess everywhere then um, this might be a solution for you. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Give us a, give us a like. Subscribe to our channel because we got a bunch of new videos coming out for 2024. And we'll see you all later.